Hello everybody. In today's lesson, we're going to be covering lesson 2.6 of the second grade Go Math textbook. And in this lesson, we're going to basically be talking about how to write three-digit numbers using words. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So we're on page 77 of the second grade Go Math textbook. So write the missing numbers in the chart. Then find and circle the words form of these numbers below. Okay, so we're going to fill in the blanks in the chart, and then we're going to circle the numbers that we write. All right, so what number comes before 12? Blank, 12, 13. Well, that's 11, right? All right, so 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and then it keeps going through 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So we have a gap between 28 and 30. Well, we saw that 19 was between 18 and 20. So we're in the 20s, right? So 29 comes after 28 and before 30. So what number comes after 34 but before 36? Right, we could go backwards, right? 38, 37, 36, 35. We could also count forward 32, 33, 34, 35. <clears throat> okay, what number is in between 45 and 47? Yeah, 46. And what number comes between 51 and 53? What number comes after 51? 50, 51, 52. Okay. All right, now, for each of these numbers, there's a word form. It's written in word form below. So 11. Find the word 11 and circle it. Okay, we should have found that, right? Okay, then 14. Where's 14? Okay, found it right there, right? Okay, then we go to 29, 29. Okay, should find that right there. Okay, notice it has a hyphen, 29, 35. Well, that's just right above it, right? 35, 46. Forty-six, And the last one we have to find is 52. Well, there's 53. There's 92. 52. Okay. All right. So that's the basic idea of what we're doing here. Okay. So each uh, number or digit, three-digit numbers, two-digit numbers, can be written in word form, okay, which we've talked about. So let's go to page 38 and let's talk about how to write three digit numbers. So if you look here, let's look at the hundreds digits first and then look at the tens digit and ones digit together. So they have this number, okay? And so we have ones, tens, hundreds. Well, how many hundreds do we have? We have 200. And now look at the four and the five together as a number. That's 45, right? So we would write 245. Here we have 713. We have three ones, one ten, and seven hundreds. So we say 700, and then read the tens and the one together. We have 13. 713. All right. So write the number using words. 506. All right. So we can just write... Five hundred six. How about this one? Well, let's look at the hundreds place. We have one hundred so we know that the first part's one hundred, and then look at the eight and nine together, and that's eighty nine. 
Okay, how about this one? Look at the hundreds first. We have three hundred. And now look at the two and the eight together. That's 28. So 300, 28. All right, now here, we're going to basically work backward. We're going to do the other way. They've given us the word form, and we have to write it as in standard form. It's how you would normally see the number represented. So 400, so we know the first digit's a 4. 15, 415. Well, how do we write 15? 1, 5. 415. 200, so our first number's 2. 91. 291. 603. So we know the first digit's a 6. Now 3. Now I can't just write 3. Because that's not 600 anymore, right? That's 63. All right. I can't write that because that's not 603, that's 630. So what do we have to put before the three to show that it's just a value of three? There's no tens, okay? So it's 603, 847. So we have eight in the hundreds place. Now look at the last part, 47. Okay. All right, let's look at page 679. All right, write the number 717. 717. 390. 300, and how do we write 90? Number 10, 643. 643, 912, 426, 871, okay, not very difficult. All right, now we're going to take the three-digit number and we're going to write it using words. Again, so let's start with the number in the hundreds place. So we have 600. And read the ones and the tens together. 32. Five hundred. Look at the tens and ones, 68. 300. Twenty-one. All right, let's look at 17, thinking smarter. Alma counts 268 loaves, uh, leaves, leaves. What is another way to write this number? And we have to circle our answer. So let's just write this number, 268. is what we've been practicing, right? So we know we have two in the hundred place and then 68. So we need one of these addition problems that's going to give us 268. Well, this has the right numbers. But do you have two hundreds? No, that's only two ones, right? So that this doesn't equal 268. That equals 16. So it's not that. 200, okay, that's good. 60, that's good. 8, oh, that's good. That's, all of that's really good. Two ones, 60 tens are 60, and 8 ones. Well, 8 and 2 is 10. 10 and 60 is 70, so it's not that. So... It's 200 plus 60 plus 8. Okay. 
All right, page 80. Connecting symbols and words. So circle the answer for each problem. Derek counts 190 cars. Well, so 100, 100, 900. Okay, well, I can eliminate that one because it's not 900, it's 100. All right, 90 cars, 90. That's not 90, that's 19. So it's 190. Beth counted 356 straws. 356 straws. Well, this is the only one that has three hundreds, right? None of these other ones have hundreds. So it has to be that one. All right, number 20. There are 537 chairs at the school. Write this number using words. Start with the hundreds. So we have how many hundreds? We have 500. And then look at the tens and ones. We have 37. All right, let's write this number in two different ways. We could use a place value chart. How many hundreds did we say we had? We had five hundreds. How many tens? Well, there's 30. So three tens is 30. And there are seven ones. All right, so 500 plus the tens plus the ones, 537. All right, so that's basically it for um, writing three-digit numbers. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.